I think that now might be a good time right. to head back to the castle. So we're going back to Hogwarts. We were just interrogated by Rookwood, I believe his name is, and his brother, the Tordesies, Theophilus, as well with a little, little bit of an engagement with Ranrock. In the way I remember his name is through Ragnarok. Are we going to use a teleportation I'm certainly glad spell? Sirona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. There is a strange hooded figure running towards me at a terrifying pace. We literally live in the sewers. Akio. Akio. <laughs> Thing is, I don't really want to teleport everywhere. Um, simply because I might miss things. Hang on a second. Are there only five students per year? Four students. Three students? What the hell? That can't be right. Is that what it's actually like? That would make sense, actually. What the hell? I didn't know that. Oh, forget it. I'm flu flaming. There's no legend on here. Except for me. What the hell was that? I just wake up. Why was I asleep? Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distractions like so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Sirona and the patron. Weird issue, ignore it. You didn't miss much. Like one sentence. This is grave news indeed of Ranrock's goblins. No, we still have to read the goblins. Speaking of the vault. Do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate. I mean, it's only you. dangerous providing that we go outside of the castle grounds, right? Because it's highly unlikely that Ranrock and Rookwood get inside of Hogwarts. Will you move out of the way? Ooh, the fire. Ooh, incendio. 
I think it's easy to see how you could get distracted playing this because there's a lot of side quests Oi, to go through. Can you help me? Hello. You have a horrible name. Were you name. calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Yeah. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Perfect. Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Akio the painting. Right. Uh, ah, a rhinoceros okay. skeleton. I'm on the right track. And then there was a painting. There's the painting. Akio this. Akio! Or not. Rebellion. Oh, it was a painting. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Ah, there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. That's sick. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Ooh. Ezio Auditor. Wait, what's this? Music class. What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever. Mine to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. We both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Okay. Well. Ooh. Rebellion. I thought this took place during the early 1800s. I believe we have some Unless she's a time discuss. traveler. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire making spell, handy for lighting torches burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. A bad tool to provide to an arsonist. By some of them. Astonishing me. how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Have we just gotten side quests for a side quest? You know quest? where to find me once you've finished. On Sebastian? I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Yeah! I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant! Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? 
I'm literally gonna like Apologies ooh, in advance. three of them. Adept. I'm quite adept. Uh Right, I know I know I don't You did indeed. If there are any of you questioning, doth my eyes deceiveth me? Did I just see that glitch? Yes, yes you did. That wasn't a trick of the mind. You see, what had happened there is... My computer broke! Um... And I, I don't, I don't know why. And I don't know why. But what happened is, the next hour of recording... Vanished. It vanished. I, I looked over to the storage space depleting as I was recording. Which is what it should be doing. And looked back five minutes later, and it was looping. Why would it loop? Why would it loop? I still don't know. Anyways, the next hour of the game is gone. It's gone. Thankfully, it was just one quest. However, I could not replay that quest. Because I didn't save prior before, like prior to going into it. Which I now habitually do. Since this point, I've recorded multiple hours of the game and there have been no issues. So there, there is an upside. Um, I'll give a brief rundown in the next recording, but I'll give you one here. So I've even deleted parts of what's been in this where it's just been choppy because it, it, it was all one recording that broke. Um, I spoke to a student called Zenobia who played gobstones or something and she was getting bullied and this tall girl hid them in high places around Hogwarts. Um, I did collect one but I don't think it's in this recording, it's in a later recording. Um, so you've just missed the introductory, I suppose, uh, speech with her. There was another chat with a student who described the Daedalus, Daedalum, the Dalian Keys, that's it, the flying ones. Um, and she described that around Hogwarts you'll find those locked cabinets and you'll need to place the Dedalian keys in them. Um, again, I've collected them but in later recordings which you'll see. Now the main quest involved Professor Fig, you saw the conversation with him. I believe at some point we go back and see Professor Fig who assumes that there's a book in the restricted section of the library that we need to get our hands on. Now we can't. And he suggests that he comes back, sorry, our character comes back to see him later on and they can go together. Unfortunately, Professor Black, the headmaster, comes and removes him uh, for a business inquiry, which I've forgotten what it is. I don't think it's um, explicitly stated. So we go to Sebastian and our player and Sebastian go into the library, sneak in, steal the key whilst the librarian is in there and go down the to the restricted section using a new spell which can turn us invisible to sneak past the prefects. During this little incursion um, we come across some ghosts in the restricted section which we need to distract and get past um, which is easy enough you just need a basic zap a suit of armor or something and draw them over at the location we get down to the stairs of some dungeon and the ghost Peeves, who I still hate with a passion, pops up says, Oh, I'm going to tell on you! and threatens to tell on us, so Sebastian heroically goes to try and stop him. We go down to the dungeon and enter a vault. And here is where the recording picks up. Well, rather, I go back to where I can load as far, as, as far back as I could. If that makes sense. I could load back. Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting worse. I'm getting worse. I loaded the earliest save that I had. And it was the start of the dungeon. Now, I'd already completed the dungeon. And it didn't let me replay it. So I just go over it again. There we go. That's all you've missed out on. Enjoy. I've just had a really, really irritating issue. A really irritating issue. I've just played through an hour of the game and for some reason my, my software has just broken it. 
and cut it down to 17 minutes, which is just fantastic. You know what? It was really good as well. Really good. So I'm going to go and do that again. Since I can't go back to where I was, which again is just fantastic. Thank you again, game, for this. Rather, computer. It's not the game's fault. Um, went and spoke to Professor Fig, who suggested that we'll go and look in the restricted section. Then, Fig was interrupted by the headmaster, Professor Black, who borrowed him away. So we went and spoke to Sebastian Sallow. Is that his name? Who said, oh, well, don't worry about it. We'll kind of just do this instead. And become invisible. We snuck past prefects. We snuck past ghosts. We snuck past the librarian into the restricted section of the library. Which is where we are now. We found an old ruin in the bottom of the library, which is, it's a pretty big place. It's a pretty big place. And thanks, thank you to our gift with ancient magic, discovered a portal, which is where we are now. I'm replaying this. I'm in a bad mood. Let's just get on with it. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. And what is such a shame is that my combat skills were amazing when I first played through this. And now nothing. I've read through that, it's just a combo to build up magic. Come on, wake up. I don't like that. See that save. I'm also oh that was not the same reward as what he had before, and this was significantly worse. What the hell? This must be the way forward, but to where? What? Have I got the rewards already and it's just giving me... Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Oh yes, we went into the restricted section with Sebastian, however that annoying ghost Peeves came along 
and decided to try and snitch on us. So Sebastian, like the hero he is, decided to go and try and distract thieves and remove any chance of him snitching on us. Don't fall off the map. It is a book after all. Again, why is this book so heavily fortified under the restricted section? You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but... It was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today.
Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Right, is everyone caught up? I want to make sure that this recording isn't broken and then we'll get back into hopefully some sort of functionality. I can't. Right, so I'm gonna quickly gloss over then. We learned the spell we came in here. Sebastian suggested that we steal a key from her desk, which we did. We then came round, snuck through here, went downstairs. Yeah. Now. We were around here. I've forgotten what Crouch is. Let's put this there. We were in Viz here. Okay. We learned that you could mark a target. There was a suit of armor here, which I blasted and this ghost came along here to be distracted, okay? Came round, came round, came round. I punted out the light and threw up here. Down the stairs. At which point, Sebastian said, we should be safe from here. So I came out of Invis. We have a browse around. We learn that the reason that Sebastian wants to come down here is to try and find a cure for his sister, Anne. Who has some sort of disease. He then asked us why we were here. It remains a mystery. Through here. The runes. Come down. We're all fine. It, it says that it's given us the loot but it hasn't. I had a legendary cloak. We got to here there was some broken armor at which point Peeves came through here and spotted us and said that he's going to snitch on us. Ooh, Sebastian and his little friend, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. Is the recreation of that. So Sebastian went back up, and that's the cutscene that you saw at the end before. We came through, had a browse around, um, and I followed these stairs down. To here, a mystical gateway. Where my character then said, ah yes, traces of ancient magic. I spot, well I pointed out the Illuminati symbol. Opened that chest, went through this door. Legendary loot which has been taken from me. Entered the Athenium. And I pointed out, wow, there are a lot of big words here. We're in the Ethereum, then we went into the Athenium's antechamber, which is where we are now. Jump it. No guards, because I'm sick. And now we're back. Unless we're not, I shouldn't be here. What is this place?
I'm not supposed to be here. That's handy. I've always said that travel. Oh. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Revelio. Orthodox. It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by... But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spellcasting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from yes, them. Yes, I understand as well. what you're trying to tell me. Anyways, as I said in the broken recording, that girl that learned those spells, that could see the ancient magic, who also started as a fifth year, peculiarly, was named Morganak. Now, there is of course the infamous witch, Morgana. It's time so, to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. I'm assuming that she's evil. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. I'm not doing this now. Yeah, I'm done dungeons, bandy camps, my locations. Spare a moment? I could use your help. Duncan. You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello. I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. 
I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. I don't Regardless know why I thought that sentence was going to end if my fear of puffs did to be. I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even <laughs> taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway. To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous Garlic. plants there. Great. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Mandrake. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. And I expect you to pay me back. With life force. Because I'm going to hmm. kill you. Hidden herbology corridor. Sounds intriguing. I'm not doing this now. Oh my god, there's so many assignments. Right. Me. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Yeah. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. I know. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Hmm. Excellent fall. Fall down. Accio. Incendium. That's it. Perfect. Accio. Incendium. Let me hope so. Come on! I need to delay that. Incendio. Let me hope so. Accio. Incendio. I'm so cool. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Damn right you would, I'll kill you. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Speaking of... Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I yeah. certainly am. Brilliant. Are yeah. you with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. Is the four of That's them? That's the spirit. 
five of them. Go on. No, oh, never mind. I mean, to be fair, I have just fought off like twelve pensive knights. Oh. Oops. Eat that one. I could never duel like that. Damn right you couldn't. Where are you? I'm gonna blast you. What a victory! You've won the tournament. I'm just pleased to have done as well I as I I should have said I'm just getting started. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now to the victor goes the prize. And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. I think I will put that on. Is it a neck way? Why can't I have that on as well as other stuff? Right, dark arts because I'm feeling evil. Let's go to herbology class. Natty can wait. This is pleasant. Not allowed in there. Smash! Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling <laughs> it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be of enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Can we eat them? The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. <laughs> All right then, off you go. Innuendo. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started 
I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Ooh, I'm gonna kill you. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Hmm, I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. <laughs> uh... Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. Flute. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as Flute I mentioned, back. next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Special Plant treatment the there is now, she, is she And you can saying? return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. I'm eager to get a detention. Or roses. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take this. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital oh. ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Oh, real life timers. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. The Chinese this is like plants versus cabbage. zombies. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, oh, first and mind company. your fingers. Yeah, Professor Garlic. They do bite. If I get bitten, if... Who's this? There you are. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Let's just get on Up with it, stairs, yeah. Take us there. But, your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Are you stalking me? me? Hmm? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your feet. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Uh, this is very interesting. What are those beasts? What are those beasts? Look at that! That's not the anything they can get their uh, mouths on. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did say for the gnomes, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Hey, Mind whoa! Kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back I'm in class. I'm gonna throw one of these at the ender. Our dragon height Professor blocks. Garlic! I shall end our lesson Hello. Here. Terribly sorry, Mr. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable. 
remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. I could be making so many jokes. <laughs> so, so many jokes here. Which, for the... Uh, for the pursuit of professionalism, I'm refraining from doing so. But my god! Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tell me your name, and it will to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. Come on! I still enjoy checking in come with my on. new students. <laughs> oh. oh someone someone just that goes for plants as well as friendships and everyone's leaving us are as necessary in the green time to turn the riz on anyways professor oh. <laughs> oh what quest do we have what quest do we have <sighs> Let's go and meet Natty. Oh no, that's first. Let's go and attend this. Dobby. Which he is. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Well, Professor, there are some unorthodox things that I tend to brew. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Hawk lamp juice. It's crazy how good we are this. Not that you could feel. Oh, he sniffed us out. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. I love the fact that we're just wearing a death robe. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. You selfish Some arse. can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. This is going to be a Walter White moment. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumours of a goblin rebellion. Cringe. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Gareth. Oh, he's a nerd. Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can oh, be a part of something fine. truly creative. 
I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. A bomb! It's missing one tiny last ingredient Crystal that meth. that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Thwooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Thwooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Thwooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Then why has he got them locked the up? Are you lying to me, Gareth? Keep your potion station Mongrel fur. Oh, Borgen and Burks in a uh, nocturne alley. How very convenient that they are now mine. Hello? Prepared which or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fwopper feather you wanted. Hunchy, Brilliant! Hunchy. Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. What is he making? Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Proficiency ah, my own brewing stick. cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. It's a bomb. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! Bell! Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, what Professor. a cool office space. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again, <laughs> Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. Uh, not me. Will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad Don't I was able underestimate to my ability. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. The room of requirement. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Well, I'll tell you what you can do. Uh, clean them, 